make changes to a posted invoice, you can go to Accounts Payable, Processing, and then Edit Invoice Information. Choose your company, then choose your subledger, and then you'll get an option to show paid invoices or not show paid invoices. This just means that if a check has been written for a certain invoice, you won't be able to edit it or it won't show up on the list of invoices that are eligible to be edited. So it kind of shortens up that list and makes it easier to find your invoice. Choose the supplier. And then if you know the invoice number, you can type it in. Otherwise, choose the invoice off the list that you need to edit. There are a few things that you can't edit about a posted invoice, and that is the date of record, as well as the purchase amount. The things that you can edit are the invoice number, the invoice date, the due date, the PO number, and also you can make a partial payment towards an invoice. So you can't edit what the total value of the invoice is, but you can edit what you are set to pay at your next check run. So for example, the total for this invoice is $500. If I needed to just make a partial payment on this invoice of 200, I could change this amount to pay to 200. And on my next check run, it would pay 200. And on the check run after that, it would be eligible for the remaining 300. What you can also change about your posted invoices are the distribution. So if you chose the wrong expense account or maybe need to distribute it to a different department, what you can do is click on Edit Distribution. It will show you what the distribution is currently. So this invoice is currently going to account 5,500. If I need to change that, I can hit Edit. And it will allow me to edit the account, the department, the reference description, and also distribute this $500, maybe split it to two different accounts. Once you've changed the distribution you need to change, just hit exit and OK. And then hit exit again, and you'll be able to post that invoice information. What you can also do is change a posted invoice number. So if you go to accounts payable, processing, and then change posted invoice number, choose your company, then your subledger, and your supplier, and then off the list choose the invoice that you need to change, and you can key in a brand new invoice number down below. So if maybe this invoice number was miskeyed or you need to re-enter it with a letter designating it from a different invoice, you can key in your brand new invoice number and then hit OK to save it.